Hello there. Greetings, rather. Should I start off with greetings? Greetings, audio video students. My name is Nate with the Volunteer Tech Vlog. Thank you for subscribing to the Live Sound 101 YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I want to just kind of brainstorm and talk through sound support for Hollywood Game Night. Now, I'm not talking about the actual game show. You know, the, this is this is like an adult fellowship, uh, you know, special event that's happening this week, and uh, it's happening this Saturday. And I just found out on Monday that they they would like audio support. Uh, they would like let me translate. They would like a sound reinforcement system for Hollywood Game Night. Now I'm just trying to think through everything that I'm going to need and how how I'm going to plan this event. Right? So if I just show up. You know, an hour early. I don't know if that's going to be enough time to get all the equipment set up and cables run and speakers placed and, and stuff like that. Uh, I have some ideas of how I hope it goes so that we can cut down on that time. Um, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to kind of brainstorm through how to do uh, sound reinforcement for a Hollywood Game Night special event. Now, um, Let's see, today is Thursday, February 26th, and I was told that by Wednesday we'd be getting information, so I'll, I'll touch base with the person that's coordinating and setting up the room uh, through email uh, later today, but um, I was told by Wednesday they'd have kind of the room layout down, so I'm not 100% sure of the room layout, and that's, that's a huge one, because we've got um, two wall-mounted speakers that I can use and that frankly that would be the easiest thing from an audio perspective is to use this the installed speakers there so if the room is oriented towards those speakers hey that saves me having to you know set up uh, the portable PA and I don't even know if that's available I think the youth might have confiscated the uh, the portable PA and portable speaker so I'd have to kind of talk to the youth pastor to see if I can drag that up from the basement but Anyway, I'm trying to think through the layout and what I'm going to need. So, uh, I believe there's going to be five teams of five. And I, I am familiar with the show because my wife is a big fan of Hollywood Game Night. We were going to go to Hollywood Game Night anyway. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's like no big deal. It's going to be there. Now, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out if I need to go an hour early or two hours early with setup. And I'm trying to think how this works. So, you've got two teams competing against each other. They're on couches, right? So there's, you know, team one couch and team two couch. And we know there's going to be five people on each. And so right there, that tells me ten microphones right off the bat. Plus an eleventh microphone for the person who is guessing. See, this is where things get a little challenging because when you do... There's going to be people moving around. There's going to be people sitting on couches that aren't necessarily... They're not going to necessarily want to think about a microphone or leaning into a microphone. And the fact is, we just don't have enough wireless microphones to support something like this. Um, right now, I think we've only got like four wireless mics hooked up. So, this is, this, this is why I'm making this video. To think through it out loud and to just kind of like help anybody else who might be preparing for this. It's not a trivial thing. It's like, oh yeah, we need sound reinforcement for this game show type of thing that we typically don't do, where there's a lot of different situations that we're typically not in. Um, you know, for church, we've got things pretty much down to a science. We've got the stage and the microphones, and we've got certain microphones that we know we're going to need every single week, week in and week out. For the most part, those can just stay up on stage. And, um, do a game show type thing, we run into problems like we don't have enough boom stands to support that, we don't have enough long cables to reach those long stands, um, so it does become a bit of a challenge, but I'm thinking here, do the people sitting on the couches in Hollywood Game Night actually need to, um, do that? they actually need to be reinforced? Does, does everybody else sitting out in the audience care what the people on the couches are saying? Or is it more so for the person who's up at the front, the two people? Because now I'm trying, I haven't seen the show in a while. Is there one person up at a time? Or are there, I think there's two people up competing, right? They're both trying to make their teams guess at the same time. 
I don't know, maybe I can get away with three microphones. One for Team 1's, you know, guesser, one for Team 2's guesser, and another one for, um, the host. Maybe three would be good, and then maybe, like, a line input for background music. Yeah, that could work. But I don't know, we'll have to think through this. So if you've ever done... Uh, sound for like a, a game show type setup, like similar to Hollywood Game Night. Uh, let me know, and we can exchange notes. Anyway, this is Nate. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Volunteer Tech Vlog. I'll see you in the next video.